Okay, dear students. So let us start with this question. An astronaut is moving at a constant velocity in the absence of gravitational field when he throws a tool away from him. Okay, so there is an event. Now what is happening? The astronaut uh, is throwing a tool away from him. But the initial condition is that the astronaut is already moving, but he is moving at a constant velocity. And we all know that when something is moving at a constant velocity or something is at rest, the external force has to be zero. And in that case, momentum is always conserved. So this is the complete picture. Now, fine. What is the question? Now, what is the effect of throwing the tool on the total kinetic energy of the astronaut and the tool and the total momentum of the astronaut and the tool? Okay, fine. So as per the momentum is concerned, because we know that the astronaut is moving at a constant velocity. So the only condition that that is the external force should be equal to zero. So it is so external force is equal to zero. So the total momentum before uh, the collision, the explosion or whatever you call it um, before the event will be equal to the total momentum of the system after the event. So as per the momentum is concerned, it will be no change. So our answer is either B or D. So now we're talking about the kinetic energy. Now here is a twist. See, such kind of things are basically included in the uh, category of explosions. Okay, so they are not collisions, but they are explosions and in explosion, the energy is created. For example, there was a bomb which is placed at rest. Let us say it is at rest and it, um, it just goes off. So it breaks into pieces and all of the pieces start moving at a very high speed. The only question is from where the kinetic energy has come because energy cannot be created nor destroyed. But yeah, Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It comes from the chemical energy of the bomb. But when we are considering only and only mechanical energy, that is kinetic and the potential, we can say that energy is created, energy is generated. So earlier the kinetic energy was zero. But after the explosion or after the person, when the person throws the hammer, the hammer is moving in the forward direction and the astronaut is moving in the backward direction because momentum is constant. In such case, the kinetic energy will be increased. So I can say that either C or D because the total kinetic energy is increasing and hence D will be the correct answer. So this is how we explain this phenomenon. If there is any other doubt in this, please do mention in the comment section. All the best. Bye.